Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that an entrance test had two kinds of questions, one mark and two mark questions. And this, there are six sections. And this gives the section wise distribution of one mark and two mark questions in the test. And the second table gives the distribution of marks as a percentage of total marks obtained by Shubham in the test. Okay. So uh, it is given that there was no negative marks for any wrong attempt or for any question left unattempted. So whatever you answer correctly, you get those many marks. There were 500 questions in the test, out of which 80 questions were from QA. Okay. Uh, Shubham scored 300 marks in the test. So he scored 300 marks. So we can find the marks obtained in each of these sections. Now we are given that there are 500 questions in the test. Uh, so what we will do is let us say uh, like there are uh, 100 A one mark questions and 100 B two mark questions. So we will get an equation like 100 A plus 100 B is equal to 500. Okay. And then we are given that uh, 80 questions from QA. Right. So QA if we talk about 15 questions. 15% of this is 15A and this is 20B. Okay, that is equal to 80. So if we solve these equations, if we multiply by 5, we will get 75A plus 5. Right, so we get 24, 25A is 100. So A is equal to 4 and B is equal to 1. Okay, so there are 400 questions and 100 questions like this. Okay. So you can find the number of questions like 80. Okay, so this is the number of questions here and uh, these will be 10. Sorry. And if you talk about the marks, right, these are the number of questions. Marks will be 20, 40, 40. 10, 30 and 60. These will be the marks. These will be the number of questions, right? So one mark, one question. So that is same. Uh, so the first question is maximum marks in the test. So 100 questions of two marks. So 200 plus 400, 600. What is the minimum number of one mark questions that Shubham could have attempted? Right. So we have to find the minimum number of one mark questions. So we will assume that uh, he gets all his marks through uh, two marks questions, right? So first of all, we will find his section wise scores also. RC, he scored 75, 75, 60 here and uh, 30, 15 and this is 45. Okay, so you have to find minimum one mark questions that Shubham could have attempted. So let us say he, has, he scores uh, maximum marks through two mark questions only. Okay, so here we have just 20 marks through 2 marks questions. So he will have to attempt 55 1 mark questions because he can score maximum 20 marks through 2 mark questions. In LR, he could score 40 marks through 2 mark questions. So he will play score 35 marks. He will attempt 35 minimum. Okay, he can score maximum 40. So he needs 20 more questions. He can score 10. He will need 20 questions. Now he can score 30 marks through two mark questions, but his marks are odd. Okay, so he cannot uh, see the, the possible place where people will make mistake is in these two subjects, right? He can score 30 marks through this, but he's scoring only 15. That means he can score 14 marks, right? There is no negative or any other marking. So he will score 14 marks through this plus one through one mark question. Similarly, in VA also, although he could score 60 marks, but he will score 44 through this and 1 through this, right? So we we'll just add this 90, 90 plus 40, 130, 132. So the answer is 132. Do not mark 130 as the answer. 
okay the minimum number of questions which shubham could have attempted in di is so he got 30 marks in di in order to attempt minimum questions he will attempt all questions from uh, uh, two marks right so that is 10 marks from here and then uh, he must have attempted he got 20 more marks so five five uh, two marks five questions and one mark he must have attempted 20 questions so total minimum 25 questions he has to attempt okay next question is what is the maximum number of questions who could have attempted in the test now this is a very easy question right do not confuse it uh, with a tricky question right uh, see uh, there is nothing given that what kind of questions right there is no negative marking also so maximum he could attempt is 500 questions and some of you what you must be thinking about this question is what is the maximum number of uh, correct questions suppose if I change the question to what is the maximum number of questions that he could have attempted if I add the word correctly okay attempt he can attempt all questions if the question is correctly then let us see how to find this so if you have to attempt correctly and score the maximum marks so what we will do is we will uh, try to score all marks through one marks questions right so in RC he scores 75 uh, marks so all 75 can be done through one mark questions this is 60 right now this is uh, this is a difficult question 60 he cannot score 15 marks from this right so he will attempt 59 plus 8 more questions to uh, score 75 60 he can attempt 60 questions and get it uh, 30 he can attempt 30 questions and get it right 15 he can uh, one mark questions are sufficient 15 and 45 okay so the number of questions will be uh, 60, 120, 150, 225, 225 plus 67, 292. If the question asked minimum number of questions that he could have attempted correctly, the answer would be 292. Right? But if it asks what is the maximum number of questions he could have attempted, then obviously you will directly say that he could have attempted all 500 questions. Okay, so that was a tricky question. Uh, people thought that it uh, they might have calculated the second part but since it said maximum number of attempts that could be 500 okay so that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions